special here. This video will see how to print a receipt to a POS printer that's been sitting on the same network. So this is a brand new Xamarin Forms application. I've just added a interface called iprinter.cs. So you could just add a new class on your shared application and then say empty interface give it a name iprinter and then hit new so inside our uh, iprinter interface we do have one abstract method and that is void print has got three parameters IP address port and the list of string that needs to be printed so once we have declared our interface we have to give it the implementation on iOS and Android so for Android you just click add new class and then give it a name printer and click new so once the class has been created you've got to inherit from the iprinter interface and implement the method void.print and give implementation on every single platform we'll be using the .net.socket class to send the print command to the POS printer so I've copied and pasted the line of code that is responsible for sending the command to the network printer so first we need to create an instance of the socket class and then we are giving it a timeout of 15 seconds so if the device cannot connect to the printer it's gonna throw an exception and then we would use the dot connect method passing the IP address of the network printer and the port number next thing to do is initialize a list of bytes called output list when we pass the array of string to be printed to the network printer that has to be converted into byte and add to this output list we are also adding a ESP POS command of line feed end of every single string that has been converted into byte. So when the conversion is done, we could then use the socket.send method which takes an error of byte and send the print command to the network printer. And when the one has been sent we could simply close the connection so for Android this is the implementation but we've got to do one more thing because you'd be using dependency injection to call this method so you've got to add this bit of line of code on top of our namespace so square bracket assembly colon dependency and you've got to import using xamarin.forms type of then you've got to give the class name so for android this is receipt printer dot droid dot printer for your ios project it's going to be receipt printer that's a namespace dot ios and the class name which is going to be printer again so let's have a look i've already implemented the ios implementation of the printer class so assembly dependency type of receipt printer dot ios so the namespace and dot the class name so printer so inside this print method, it's 
exactly the same code as the Android version one. So let me just show you this one. So we aren't doing anything different. So if you're working from your UWP, that's going to be exactly the same code, except we've got to change here dot uwp so whatever the namespace for your uwp dot the print name so that's been done uh, come back to your solution and look at our main page dot xaml file so i've just added one button that says print and having a click event called button print clicked so let's go and see how we are calling the platform specific implementation so this is obviously an async void button print clicked event handler so here we are passing the IP address of our network printer so you've got to find out a way of printing out your uh, IP address of your network printer and the port number is 9100 and I've defined a list of string so list my text equal to new list of string and then I've added a few like hello from Mr. Narshad please like share and subscribe so once that's been done we are trying to find the platform specific services saying var printer equal to dependency service so when we say dependency service dot get reset printer this is again your namespace of your project dot i printer so when we are calling this method it's going to go on every single platform specific project and because of this dependency it's going to come here and see if the uh, implementation on every single um, platform has been given so once it finds a printer if it's not null we could print using our print method so again this is our IP address port number and this list of string that has been defined here and if there is no implementation on any platform that's going to give us an exception and if there is any connection error again it's gonna give us an, uh, it's gonna throw us an exception saying uh, there was a problem so let's run the code and see how it works. I'm going to run it on our uh, iOS project and see how it prints. So that's been running. I'll just click the print button and see how it prints the text. So we could see how we could print your network printer using the .NET.Socket class. So that was it for this tutorial. On next tutorial we'll see how to print a QR code. Thank you very much and if you have liked this video make sure you like, share and subscribe.